Hey there YouTube, welcome to Koala Gardens. Come on with me and let's have a little bit of a peek at how Pearl and Hope are doing. I've taken this video over two different days, one sunny and windy, one wet but not so windy and you'll get to see lots of things about how much Joey has to learn because you can see that Hope is quite small. This is actually July video. That's how far behind I am in editing. And I'm so excited to give a huge shout out and welcome to Sylvia Meyer, who's joined the In The Loop adopters over this last week. Great to have you in the family, Sylvia. She's been supporting me for a long time. And I'd like to acknowledge the Widjibal Waibal people of the Bundjalung Nation on whose land I live, work and play. I'm Katrina and I'm passionate about saving koalas. You can really see how many muscles Joey has to develop and how much experience they need to gain because every day out there it's a different tree and a different set of circumstances. Hope's trying to decide there, is it going to be easier to sit and do this in mum's lap or is it going to be more fun to try and scamper up and down the branches to get this meal? And one of the things Hope is discovering is it's not always any easier to be in mum's lap because mum doesn't stay still and mum certainly doesn't give any advance warning of what she's going to do next. So there's a lot to learn. You know, everything that I'm doing here is voluntarily being done in my own time. So if you like these videos, you can support by throwing a couple of dollars my way using the super thanks below. And I'll give you a shout out if you are so kind as to support me here. Now back to watching our gorgeous Pearl and Hope breeze comes and goes a little bit so we get some lulls and that makes Hope feel like oh, maybe I should go venturing up again but it doesn't really last very long because the breeze comes back and it's quite precarious up there for a joey that's probably not even quite a kilo in weight. I actually spent about 20 minutes, maybe a little bit more, filming this. A lot of it, of course, it's quite hard to see because there's all that leaf in the way and they're blowing about. So I've condensed it down to the best bits. Hope has finally found a bit of a sweet spot there, sitting in Pearl's lap and is able to get some good munching grabs on some of those leaves. Hope really needs to get a belly full of leaf to get enough calories for all of the climbing about and work that has gone into getting this meal. This second piece of video is taken only a few days later and just look at the difference for Pearl and Hope without having that wind blowing about. There's the tiniest little breeze just making leaves move a little bit at times but it's really quite still and it's very close to starting to rain. It means that Pearl can just sit there, not move about, hold one little branch and munch on some leaf. That's the easy way to get a meal for sure. But even when it's still and calm like this, Hope has to be vigilant all the time because one never knows when mum is going to just suddenly change what she's doing and move. So Hope has to hold on all the time. Pearl certainly looks like she's looking around and making some decisions about whether or not she might move. Maybe it's time for the next course of the meal, which might be 
another species of eucalypt. Again, I spend a lot longer filming than what I actually show to you when I process the video. So after about 10 minutes of just sitting and looking around, Pearl finally found that decision spot and began to move. Once again, Hope had to be already holding on tight so that when Mum moved, Hope just came along with her. And I love how koalas do this. They'll just stop in the middle of climbing down a branch and have a good old scratch. This is a really common behavior too. As they come down a tree, quite often they will stop on different branches at different levels and just have another bit of a look around, make their decisions where they're going to go. It almost kind of feels sometimes like being in an elevator and stopping at different floors. It looks like she's examining the directory for this floor and deciding, will I stay on this floor or will I continue on down and go to another level, maybe even to another store? Never miss an opportunity to have a bit of a grooming session when you're in an elevator. And she looks about a bit more, decision made, and she's off. Down she goes. In another few weeks, as Hope gains more and more muscle integrity, Hope will begin riding on Pearl's back rather than on Pearl's tummy. And look at that, they basically disappear into the long grass. Oh, and there they are, heading on up. And it's starting to properly rain, so I won't be able to continue filming. I've got an umbrella up, but I don't like to get the equipment wet. So you've done it. You've made it to the end of another Koala Gardens video. So make sure you've hit like, make sure you've subscribed. And would you write in the comments below for me best mama pearl make sure you keep watching there's so much more great mum and joey video coming your way another way that you can support the voluntary work i do here to save koalas is by heading on over to my red bubble store and having a look at the beautiful designs you can choose on all kinds of gifts for yourself or for someone that you love.